Jessie Ware, okay, so, um, Jessie Ware released her, um, latest album, that feels good, do it again, um, so, um, she released her album, that feels good, I believe it's her fifth album, um, a little background, I discovered her during the last album, What's Your Pleasure, um, loved it. This album is is um is it it supersedes that to a degree which I did not believe was possible until I heard it. Um, so we're just gonna go through. We're just gonna talk about the album, girls, because it is so fun. Okay, it's fun and beautiful, and she just she sounds gorgeous. The music is fun. It's obviously very disco inspired, um, and it's just it's amazing. So it opens up with a song that feels good, um, which I'm like, I believe the opening features like um, <clears throat> Kylie Minogue and, um, and I think Jesse Ward's mother and um, uh, just a bunch of different people. And so she comes out the gate swinging because it's my jam. It's the song that's, you know, about, <clears throat> you know, that feels good. Do it again. Um, and then we go into free yourself, keep on moving up that mountain top. This is my song, okay? It's so fun and um, I love it. Um, I realized it was a single after the fact, so I wanted to watch the video. Um, no, no comment on the video. <laughs> it, um, in the best way possible, it kind of gave White Savior a little bit, um, but I love the song, and I still, I guess, appreciate the representation, um, but yeah, it's, it's a jam, and then we move on to possibly the best song, um, but one of my favorites, Shake It Till the Pearls Fall Off. song pearls this song is is so fun um like i mean they all are it's just so fun and like disco and she starts to like really hit those high notes toward the end of the song and it's just euphoric okay there's no better word for it than euphoric these headphones better stop looking up before i get mad okay so pearls is it's it was my favorite for a while, but I think I have a new front runner. Um, but Pearl's just excellent and fun. Oh, next we have Hello Love. Ooh, Hello Love is just so smooth, and it makes you feel like you actually want to be in love. Like, I'm like, okay, this I kind of like want to feel one day, you know. Hello Love. Bring both hands up, I love it. It reminds me of like... The vertical groove of the album, you know, it's like a time where we kind of like slow down 
and we just talk about like being in love right it's like the virgo screw of the album virgo screw lord forgive me forgive me forgive me i'm in plastic off the sofa it's the plastic off the sofa of the album okay the plastic off the sofa plastic off the sofa of the album you know it's like where we kind of slow down we talk about just being in love Much like, uh, um, sorry, it's got notification. Much like, uh, plastic off the sofa and very close groove right after, right after Hello Love, we have what's possibly my favorite song and possibly maybe the most intricate. And begin again, okay? I work all night, I work all night, do my day. about it because I can all day um and then next we move to beautiful people everywhere everywhere beautiful people beautiful people <laughs> this is my song oh stand up turn around say goodbye because you look so good songs are like you know they're like upbeat um and you know disco but this one i think is probably like the the fastest when it comes to like tempo and, and like pacing so i love that next we have that's the way to make my bottle <laughs> shake the bottle so fix the bottle is a very you know in innuendo heavy song um I li- it might be my least favorite of the album um, I like it a lot. Um, it's just, you know, out of all the girls, it's probably my least favorite, but I still love it. I think it's fun. I love the the imagery, if you will. Um, I just like what you did with the song overall. So, shake it, shake it. Next, we might have my actual favorite. This is so when I first when I heard the first like five to seven seconds of the song, literally like, oh, this is my favorite song. Like before he even started singing, I just heard the little intro and then the background vocals started to come in. Um, and then by the time I finished the song for the first, I'm like, okay, maybe not my favorite, but I like that. Um, but it might be my favorite. I don't know. I, it's such a jam. Sorry, I'm also sick. Uh, so, um, that was such a jam. Um, it's different than the rest of the songs on the album. Um, but I love it's so smooth. You are the line in my life. Oh, obviously, I don't know how to sing in key, but it's smooth. I like 
the um the like lyrics of the song. You know, it's about somebody who's like mm, lightning on your life, girl. You know, and it's just kind of smooth and sexy. Um, and it's it's I love it, and it's well placed on the album too. Because we go from that to the last song, it's gonna take the these lips, which you know, um, also heavy on the heavy on the innuendos. Um, but I love it. It's a perfect like song to an album because one, it's like long, um, and it sounds is very like finale is like the the way she layered the vocals. And it's going. songs each one is incredible it's a 10 out of 10 for me um and you should go listen to it it is like it's my favorite album of the year it's incredible um i mean renaissance came out last year but i can still consider it the album of this year too so it's you know but considering like albums technically released this year this is my favorite um so and that includes, you know, because my girl's parent more dropped this year, too. This is why I came out this year, right? I came out, like, February. Um, but this one is just, it feels good. Do it again. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> it says here that uh, that feels good. It's the fifth studio album by English singer-songwriter Jersey Ware, released on, um, April 28, 2023, via PMR Records and EMI Records, co-produced by Stuart Price and James Ford, who she had worked with on her previous record, What's Your Pleasure, where co-wrote all tracks alongside Shungunzo, Danny Parker, Clarence Coffey Jr., Sarah Hudson, and its producers, Price and Ford. The album was met with critical acclaim, as it should have been, um, and earned where her second top three entry on the UK album start after What's Your Pleasure? To date, three singles have been released to promote the album. Um, those singles are So Free Yourself Was First, um, and then Pearls, and then Begin Again. Good choices. I got nothing to say. Yeah, good choices. And then, yeah, the album has, has received widespread critical acclaim because it's immaculate. So, yes. That feels good. Oh, so let me know. I really like these sounds, and I kind of want to do a video dedicated to these sounds. But my thing is, I don't like, like trigger videos. Um, I, I'm nosy. And I like when people just talk, okay? Um, but I also, I like, I don't mind when they do, you know, tricks that accompany it, because that gives, you know, it's double effect. It's like a threesome. Um, so, if uh, you have any suggestions, by the way, for like male artists and artists who, who tend to ramble and softly speak, LMK, okay? Because I'm, I'm always looking for some people. Some people, I want to say somebody new, but like some n new people. There we go. Um, yeah. So, how have y'all been? What's going on? It's almost the end of the school year, which is great for those who are either in school or teach. So, summer is around the corner, girls. It's around the corner. The Renaissance World Tour has kicked off, so I'm just patiently waiting for my. Uh, to come stateside so I can go to my dates and uh, yeah hopefully I can make um, some videos a little bit consistently during this time now that the heavy lifting of launching the businesses is taken care of um, but we'll see and like I said summer's coming up so I'll have more time then but thank you for um, listening thank you for all of you who um, have 
and subscribed and just waited patiently. That's real kind of you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, maybe you can subscribe. Don't be scared. Okay, until next time.